No, I'm not that I'm a big Nickelback guy. It's just the, the the older I get, the more the more I'm like like rock star, like like uh, like. Look at this photograph. Well, that one. I mean, who doesn't look at a photograph every now and then? I and know. it just makes them laugh. It makes them laugh looking at that photograph. I have been known to take an occasional peek at a photograph, but uh, like rock star. Like a, just, 16, just, cars. 16 cars. 16 yeah. cars. That's a lot of cars. And go to all the coolest bars. <laughs> the coolest bars. The, I love that part of that that hook just cuz it's not um it's not like he's talking about like like he's super rich and get it all to the fancy clubs. It's like no, but I get to all the coolest bars. Yeah, at least like rappers, this like at least bar- rappers have the decency to be like you can't even get on the guest list of this nightclub. Yeah, but no, Nickelback we're 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 keeping it old school here. I just go to all the coolest bars. Yeah, all the bars that are really really cool. Yeah, that's subjective too. So Cuz like, I'm a rock star. He could just really like like very chill dive bars where you get to play that game where you drop the hoop. Like and that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's the coolest bar. That's the coolest <laughs> bars. Oh, you know, only the coolest bars have the whoop. You drop the hoop, you get it on the hook. What's the name of the lead singer of Nickelback? Do you know it? I feel like you would know that. I don't know why. No, no. If they're not a rapper, I do not know them. Okay, look at you. I have no taste outside of rap from younger in my life. So huh. I've just discovered these non-rap music in my early 20s. Like Willie Nelson? Yeah, that's a person <laughs> who sings songs. Oh, but okay, I had that story I had. Yeah, um recently tale. recently I went to a hookah bar. Ooh. Then like that was my first time going to a hookah bar. I'm twenty five years old. Who did you see? Run that one back again for me? <coughs> hookah did you go with? Hookah did you go with is way better than hookah did you see. <laughs> but uh hookah did I go with at the time was just a bunch of my buddies, a bunch of my friends. And uh, it was the first time going to a hookah bar, I did not know what to expect. Was immediately. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of hookah. hookah I'm not, I'm giving up on it, but um, <laughs> it was a real. It was weird. It was weird going to a hookah bar. Yeah, you and seventeen Palestinians. There was two, <laughs> but. It was just like going in there and immediately seeing the waitress smoking a cigarette while she's taking someone's order. And I'm like, we can just smoke in here? Like, why? why I should have... Fuck, fuck doing a hookah. I want to bring a pack of Marlboro Reds in this bitch. Wait, yeah. I can't believe she's working at the hookah lounge. And instead of just sucking on the hookah stick, she's like, yeah, I'm going to... No, no. You're, you're but... apparently just allowed to smoke in there. But I guess because of being allowed to smoke in there... You're not allowed to serve alcohol. Yeah, that makes sense. Which I didn't know at the time. I'm thinking I'm about to go to the hookah bar with my buddies. We're going to get fucking. We're gonna get nice and uh, breezed off this hookah. We're gonna get mm-hmm. nice and vibrating we'll off this hookah, up. and then I'm gonna drink a shit ton of beer, and this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a great time. Ended up just me be getting a headache. Like like we just did it for like 30 minutes, and just like and taking that much smoke, and I think it's nicotine. Yeah, I don't know what the some fuck type of tea leaf <laughs> nicotine. I don't know what the fuck I was smoking. Yeah, I remember I was 18, and I was at. I was going on a visit Mm -hmm. or a, um, what's that thing? Sabbatical? No, I was going on a college, it was like a college visit, but it's like when you you already committed to going to this college, but you go visit and you, orientation. Orientation. I was being orientated. Mm -hmm. I was an orientado. Sounds sexual. I was an orientado that day. And, um. Nelly orientado. And some of my other orientatees, they were, they Hey, show me them Orion titties, <laughs> bitch. Dude, that's racist. Get over here. <laughs> hey, get over here. That's what I did at orientation. They didn't let, allow me back. I wasn't allowed yeah, back. I was, at, I was at orientation, and me and me and the boys that I just met at orientation, we were like, you like Fortnite? I like Fortnite. You like football? I like football. And then bros. Dude, classic boy shit. Insta bros. We were all broing it up. We were on the field throwing a Nerf ball. We're like, well, it's getting to 8 o'clock, and we're 18-year-old boys in a college town. Where oh, do we get the booze? The hookah bar. Where do you get the booze? <laughs> and so, like, we we're, we all, like, dis, you know, discourse. Nobody has a way to get booze. We're all in a t- in a town that we know no one and nothing, and yeah. don't know where the where the place to get booze is. Yeah, so you gotta learn. 
So we go, all right, we're all 18, though. Let's go into this hookah bar and get get, turned up. Yeah, let's get ripped at this hookah bar. It was not that cool. No, it's so misleading. (laughs) Hookah bars are so misleading. Up until this point, all of my, like, thoughts and, like, uh, like hearing people talk about hookah bars. It's like an opium den, but lame. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's really like that. And up until this point, I thought it was, like, the equivalent of, like, um... A, a local nightclub like yeah. i'd always heard it's like yeah like crazy shit goes down at hookah bars like it, it's packed in there yeah, i think they it, just a bunch of underage kids guns are involved like it's it's like a i thought it was like oh shit i should prepare, prepare myself for going into this hookah bar no it was just it was just two guys that were sitting in the back with a 24 pack of corona ripping butts <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe they do have beer here. No, just those guys brought beer. Nice. I don't think you're allowed to do that. That's a <laughs> pretty cool move. That's a pretty cool move. You just bring your own beer. I should have you know, done. It would be really cool is to like just like pull up on like your local pe- local pizza joint. Go in, get a few Zaz with your boys, and you just whip out the freaking Modellos, set them on the table, and just start tearing and tearing See, it up. See, I could do that with my job, but I'd get fired. Yeah. Yeah, because I work at a pizza place, mm. so at any given moment, I could make a shit ton of pizzas for oh, me and my food? boys. Yeah, I make oh, so food. Oh, you do hard drugs? <laughs> <laughs> those go hand in hand. Fuck, it's so crazy that those do kind of go <laughs> hand in hand. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Anyone who's making your food is on more than marijuana. At least a little bit. Yeah. But, um... Twice a week. I, my aunt actually told me that when she found out that I was working in like you know like a real deal kitchen, she was like, "Oh, that's awesome, man! Hey, be careful. Those like kitchen crowds, they're partiers, man. You gotta watch out." And I I learned the hard way that that is true. They really are. They often say it's hot in the kitchen, but it's somehow hot and snowing. It's uh <laughs> no, we don't do that at my work. We don't do that at my job. That's Dude, they're not gonna see ridiculous. This. Nobody's going to see this. No one's going to see this, but that's like a, the beautiful part. Well, some people might see this. I've had multiple people tell me that they've stalked my page and they find the podcast that I've been on and they watch them. Oh, and that really? makes me feel really scared because then I have to try to like remember, oh, fuck, what did I, well, last <laughs> what did time, I say last, on this? Last time we talked a lot of shit about Smurfs. We, we were, there was a lot of Smurf talk and I think I was really horny. So there was a lot of, <laughs> there was a lot yeah. of like fucking talk. Yeah, we, we were talking about... <laughs> seeing ads and being like is this the time i click on it oh yeah we were also talking about like porn bots and stuff mm-hmm. you gotta love gotta love podcasting and deep intellectual conversation amongst 23 and 24 year old men you're the apple of my eye okay sorry <laughs> was right, the podcast is over we're done i, we're to, we're I really wanted to do that I was, it's over that was fucked up for me to do i, <laughs> <laughs> I was panicking i don't know <laughs> <laughs> one second, I gotta turn you down one notch. Yeah, I'm loud as fuck. Uh, yeah, it was set for a quiet person last week. And oh, it, I, didn't, I didn't do any adjusting ahead of time because I'm a good producer. Yeah. You know, if you want to be a pro- an unpaid producer working for exposure on a on a podcast that gets 42 to 46 views, you know, you could have a job with me. If you want to work for a guy that's got an infant child and is planning on leaving his only day job, hey. Look That's no further me. than Duke Watson. That's me. I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna leave my day job and become a full out hardworking man. Though I'm about to. I out. thought you were about to say full out alcoholic. Well, alcoholic. Say it with me. Alco- alcoholic. I don't have to go. leave my job for that. No, but it helps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it helps you fully embrace the lifestyle it, of it, being it, an alcoholic. It does help you embrace the lifestyle, but it also can inhibit the lifestyle because how am I going to buy Yeah, then how alcohol? do you pay for, yeah, that's, then I well, have that's to the whoring myself. Well, there's no reason to jump directly to whoring. Sorry, <laughs> I've, been, I've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones and it seems like whoring your body is your number one option. It's the quickest way to get everything it's, solved. It, it's your number one option. After you aren't born into the family of a lord or lady. If well, you yeah. aren't born into Just a high it out. family, you have to sell those holes. Hey, yeah, sex rights, man. Just sell it out. Put it on a put it on the noose. Ha. You know you know, people have people have told me, um people have told me, you know, dude, you don't wash your jeans. What? Dude. What? You got you got weird weird ass okay, crack well that's hole boxers. Weird, come on, man. You got you got weird ass crack hole boxers. They're like, dude, do you have no shame? You're disgusting. And I'm like, no, I have a freaking personality. Try getting one, motherfuckers. 
Maybe don't wash your jeans every day. Maybe stop doing your taxes on time. Maybe, maybe stop being a reliable human being and get a personality. Are you okay? No, I just, <laughs> I, just, I, just, really? I just think I just think more people should have big personalities, and that requires doing less of what you're expected. So stop doing what they expect of you. Stop taking care of your children. Stop loving your <laughs> your family members. Start doing crazy shit. Get a personality. <laughs> He's not really wrong, <laughs> but I will say that it completely don't pay your taxes. It completely threw me off where we were talking about uh, basically like uh, sex work in medieval times, and then all of a sudden you started going on this hard tangent about your jeans being dirty, and then that somehow led into you need to find a personality. Well, people people have said you need to wash your jeans, and I'm people like, say this to you. Yeah, they're like you need to wash your jeans, and I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not I wa- wearing jeans right now. You know, I'm not wearing jeans right now. I have one pair of jeans, and I wash them on January first. I will wash them on January first next year, and I wash them every year. On January 26th. Wait, really? That was the insurrection, right? Was no, the 6th. D- d- I watched him on January 6th. That'd be funny, the guy who showed up on the 26th. <laughs> he was <laughs> off. I was way off. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was way off. <laughs> the dude who showed up 20 days late to the Where's insurrection. Where's Nancy Pelosi's desk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. That would be funny as hell to show up 20 days late and just be like, all right, guys. Well, no one else seemed to show up. And I'm the only one with balls around here, so I think I'm gonna go in by myself. Yeah, I uh no, th- th- talking about the jeans thing. Um, I'm just now like thinking about it, and I only have like three pairs of pants. Yeah, like I got like a pair of blue jeans. I got these black, these black pants, and then I've got like a pair of blue ones. There's only one reason to wash your jeans if more than once dirty. a year. If you get a stain on them, stain. or if you are a hardworking person who sweats in your jeans. If you're a fucking a real hard worker, yeah, you if know. You're, if you're a if, if you're, you're a real a, if you're a man's man or a woman's woman. If you're if you're a real nose or to the grindstone. Binary. You get up every morning. You take a shower. You look at yourself in the mirror and you say, "That's a hard worker. That's a worker right there." Yeah, I haven't washed my hair since November. Then you drink a tall boy, and you get in your truck. It's six thirty in the morning. You're stopping at the gas station for what? A bear claw and another tall boy. Because you're going to be on a roof for eight hours. You might as well get a couple of those chicken rollers on the thing, too. Also, maybe some chicken rollers on the thing that rolls the, the chicken. Yeah. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. No, dude. I, I respect the, I respect that you respect those men. I, respect I was those that men man for a little well. bit. For a little bit, yeah. We, we're, we're those type of men who were those men for a little bit. We aren't those type of men who are those type of men. <laughs> That's so true. It's like I was that guy for a little bit, but it's not. I'm not cut out. That's like not. tried it out for the experience. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a humbling experience. Uh, just like how people say that they think everyone should work like in the service industry to gain some perspective. I feel like everyone should at least do like a week at a constru- at a mom and pop construction site just to just to really feel the mental toll that is working with a bunch of nobody fucking... should work in the in, in the in the service industry. There should be I no, disagree. There should be no human beings in the service industry. We need to give this to the robots because every person who's in the service industry hates it. It hates everyone that they have to that they have to freaking help out. You know, they're they're not they're not having a good time. I've met people that dealing like serving. with these folks. Oh, like a server? That's yeah, that's working in. Yeah, I'm thinking baristas. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the service industry. They are. They are. I was. I don't know. That's not where my head originally goes to. Is barista? Yeah, I I'm I I think barista is like my, like a server is a little bit different. They're like the top the the best service industry people. Mm-hmm. Like they're the best at it. It's in you're having the dining experience. But when your service is the drive through experience or the quick yeah, like cough. McDonald's shouldn't really have workers anymore. I agree with that. Like yeah. if and if you are gonna have all workers, make them children. Oh, how old? I don't care. Put the kids back to work. They're not learning anything in school. Yeah, like that picture of that minor kid, that kid that was a coal miner and the he kids, had a little cigar in his mouth. Minors shouldn't be minors. I'm not, I'm not for minors as minors. I'm just not for that. Minors should be... Hey, minors can't be mining. Minors unless it's sh- craft. <laughs> minors should be, you know... Do uh, I look like Uncle Sam right now? Like the Uncle Sam poster? Yeah. I want you to lick my asshole. I want you to let me see those toes. All right, one more time. I want you to suck my dick. There we go. There we go. We got it. We matched it up. There we go. 
We, we know that's <sighs> the clip. That's the clip right there. That's the clip. <laughs> I really needed that cup of coffee. Thank you for that. Yeah, the cup of coffee is essential for podcasting. It just wakes you. It it puts that jolt in your butthole, and it, it you when you when you got a poop, you have stuff to say. I did a set at the matinee open mic last night, and then afterwards I hung out with um Zach Zach Thomas. Oh yeah, and no. then we just we just like stayed up really late talking about comedy stuff and uh, watching a bunch of specials. Zach's been on this podcast before. He's uh, the l- the leader of the the don't use straws movement on this podcast. Really? Yeah, he said straws are just unacceptable. No, like you just can't look cool drinking out of a straw. You just look like a you just you do not look. Ra- he it was his it was his argument, and I and I and I stood by him. I think I stand by that as well. I'm trying to think of like. Like the toughest dude I can imagine, like drinking a drink with like the little tiny straws they mm-hmm. like mm. they give you at, like a bar. Oh, at a bar, yeah. I'm the immediately not straws. intimidated by that guy anymore. Yeah, especially when you have two straws and you gotta like chase the other one down with your tongue. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Isn't the, oh oh fuck? I hate that. Like that makes me cringe so bad. Whenever you have to be that person, mm-hmm. and I know I'm that guy. We all know you're that guy. I put a straw in my Bud Light bottles. That's fucked up. I have a friend that <laughs> I have a friend that will crack open a can of Pepsi and put a straw inside of the can and I'm like, You are not five years old. There is no reason for this. Does he have lipstick on? <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, I, the only reason to have a straw in your can of Pepsi is you're trying to preserve your lipstick because you're gonna give a mean blowjob after the wedding. Oh either that or, it's like kinda like the adult equivalent of having a sippy cup. Yeah. No, that's a Stanley Cup. If you have a Stanley Cup, that's the adult equivalent of having a sippy cup. Yeah, literally, spend the five extra dollars, get a Yeti. Is it, gonna, the Yetis are more than Stanleys? Yeah. See, maybe you can fill me in on this because you know you you like have a family. What what happened? Because I thought Yeti was like the one, like it was the, the it brand, and then like all of a sudden out of nowhere, it's like no Stanley. Stanley's the one you want. Like what happened there? What I think was the minorities the... found out about Yeti, and the white people had to move on. Oh, the white women couldn't have the same cup as the minorities. That's just not acceptable. Uh, I, in today's world, you know, I, I mean, I see why that happened. Yeah. White women, white women don't care, care about the quality of the product. They just white women don't care about equality in <laughs> products. <laughs> yeah. They don't care that the Yeti cup is more expensive and like more of a name na- was more of a name brand. Once one white woman influencer got a Stanley cup. You know, her her followers had to had to had to get the Stanley Cup or they weren't. If one white woman has it, they all do. Mm-hmm. Basi- and I'm talking about chlamydia. Basically, you're never going to be on Selling Sunset if you don't have the same cup as that white bitch on Instagram. Selling Sunset. You're never going to get a job selling houses in Los Angeles. Unless that's all they want to the do. Stanley <laughs> all, all Stanley women want to do is sell houses on the Sunset Strip. <laughs> That's oh, that's literally any woman who wants a Stanley Cup is dreaming of selling of s- houses on the Sunset Strip yeah. with their with the skimpiest outfit on, and they've and they have a, a husband that's like just very weak. He's a frail man. He's easy to break. He's so easy to just control and just. And he tried to get her the Yeti. He dig tried to fucking he's like, hands dig, in dig, her brain and. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm going through a, a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a Yeti fan. I don't even think Yetis are better. Like I've always had knockoff tumblers. And Stanley was a knockoff tumbler, and then now it's now it's hot shit. Two years ago for Christmas, my dad asked me, "What anime do you like right now?" And I was like, oh, "I'm just watching like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, mm, Boku stuff. no Piku." Yeah, just like you know, I just gave him a list of a couple, and um, he was like, "Okay, cool." And then Christmas happened, and I opened a gift, and he got me a uh, a little like co- t- coffee tumbler with one of the characters that was like wrapped completely around it. Oh, yeah. And like it's a nice gift. I get what he was going for, but the image is so funny because it's such like a shitty like like, like, like it's such a, you know, low quality product that the image you could tell is just like a fucking print a pressed on sticker and it like oh. the way it's wrapped around the can makes it, the head look super warped and like out yeah. of focus. So yeah, your dad went to the mall with a JPG. Yeah, yeah, literally. My dad <laughs> went to the mall with a JPEG and talked to this dude at a kiosk and got me a <laughs> fucking little <laughs> little coffee thing yeah, with yeah, an anime character on I've it. I've made people Christmas gifts like that at my job. I bet you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can I hit that that breeze? Can I can I can yeah, I if you want to if quick? you want to dox yourself, that's fine. Yeah, I live at should I give out my address? <laughs> <now>? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about my breeze that uh, it makes you tell all of your information. 
It's the breeze of My truth. My social security number is one two three four five seven eight seven eight. That's See, if you would have said any other numbers, I w- it would have been like kind of believable. Yeah, well, wouldn't it be funny to give out a fake social security number, but it is someone's social security? <laughs> I bet, I bet, I, I, oh, that's, I feel like you could do that within five tries. I feel like within five tries, you could you could come up with a set of numbers that is someone's social security number. Yeah, but once I get someone's social security number, is there like a website where I go like cash it in and like become them? Like where, do, like once I That's get, called the dark web. Once that's I, <laughs> once I have your social security number. Do, what do I do with it? Do I do I just go to so identitythief.com and start typing in social no, security numbers and it's like, "Oh shit, I'm Justin now." No, you big dummy. You no. <laughs> you would take it to there would be you'd have to be like into the dark web somehow and there would probably be some like you know like backwater forum site like that you do it sexually. Yeah, you'd have to be like really sexually into the, the, the dark web enough to where the dark web is willing to have consensual sex with you. And then you give it the social security number, and then it sucks your dick. And then after the, you get your dick sucked, you become Justin. Okay. But, like, I don't have to. That was all terrible and stupid. I don't have to rescind the oral? I feel like that's Rescind kinda... the oral is such a good band name. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I, feel like, I feel like I should repay the favor if the dark web is going to blow me. I just feel rescind like that's kind of unfair. Denounce the head. <laughs> Denounce the head. Gosh, dude. We ride at dawn. <laughs> dude, if you denounce the if you denounce the head, I'd be pissed. I, if someone <laughs> denounced my head, don't you ever denounce that head. God, I would be so I denounce the head. God, imagine 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 being a wench nineteen. They are a in, in, in fifteen forty eight. You're a you're a good old wench and you're like, <laughs> I give I have the, the, the greatest head on this side of the kingdom and You're losing your mind. I have the greatest head on this side of the kingdom, and a knight comes in. And he's like, "I denounce the head," I and then no one head. will buy that wench's head from now on. She lives sa- in I'd squalor a, the rest of her life. I'd be a sad. And wench. after talking about how that's the main way of making money back then, like that's it's like basically getting canceled. It's like getting canceled on Twitter. God, it was like OnlyFans. It was like OnlyFans, <laughs> except it was real. It was OnlyFans in person. And you know what? That's called it's called prostitution. Oh man, um, I'm drinking this. Um, know, I'm gonna drink a beer now. Yeah, go for it. You know, I've been living with a lady. And, oh um, really? Yeah, I I don't know if you know this about living with a lady, but it, you be I lived with one. Yeah, you be bricked up too much when you live with a woman. When I'm when I was walking around a house and there was no woman just wandering. Yeah, scampering I, around. I'd get bricked up if there was like an algebra equation or if there was like a good TV show or like. You know, I got a couple, like a kill streak or something. Dude, but like now I'm bricked up because she wants to vacuum. You know, like what what, what am I supposed to do? Just live with it. I mean, I, I see what you're saying, though. I, I miss those times. I miss those times when just waking up in the morning and you're in the, their house or whoever's house. And it's just like I'm, I'm just walking around freely with a boner. And there's no problem with that. There's nothing. And I would say while in this house, 80 percent of the time I got a boner, just a boner, just. Just chilling, just out. Yeah. Oh, we're both going upstairs. Great. Now I got blood flow. Yeah, exactly. You should oh, let me walk let up me, first. Yeah. Why am I not? I'm walking behind you. Great. Now there's three of us. But you gotta watch your back. You now there's three heads back. of the party. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, dude, you ever get this? Like, you know, you're sleeping in bed with your girl, and and she's not like, anymore. Yeah, but <laughs> but you're sleeping in bed with a lady, and you're like, but we're just going to bed tonight. Like, we're both tired, and she's uh, like, all right, yeah, we're going to bed, right? And she's like, but let me just say hello and just squeeze squeeze just a little pat pat squeeze squeeze and then just rolls over and goes to bed and it's like okay i was tired now i'm bricked up and i have to figure out how to get hey you know what that's called this it's called love that's (laughs) great it's called fucking love why do they do that does that (laughs) why do they do that (laughs) dude dude you want me to tell them hi you want me to check and see say hello (laughs) hey stop I'll the camera's hello. too low. <laughs> <laughs> what the entire time during this podcast, <laughs> Duke was giving me a slow jerk. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the second half of the podcast. Way for way, <sighs> way to spoil the fun. Oh. But dude, that is kind of messed up though. Like that they do that. Like it is. It's it's nice to say hello, but that's like us both being like, yeah, we're not hungry. And then and then she's like and then she's like here I have a whole pizza take a bite I find um, and then she's like all right let me throw this pizza away I don't know I kind of find it beautiful in a way I kind of find it as like 
it's a nice tease. It's a nice tease in the sense of like, hey, care about you, Hong Kong. I sell teas. I'll fucking walk out this door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave right now. I'll take your kid with me. Every time there's <laughs> every time there's a pun, we're, we just are about to quit. That's it. I'm grabbing the kid. I'm out of here. Oh, man. You don't deserve this. <laughs> I'm just holding your baby with one hand. You don't deserve this if you're going to say things like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh! But dude, I I just it's it's hard it's hard to stay soft when there's a lady in the house. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, so good! Oh, it's so great that that's not a problem or concern of mine to have to. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> reminding me that I no longer have to worry about those problems. Oh, thank God I don't have to worry about having a boner all the time. Dude, you don't want to have a boner. I'm getting time. angry now. It's now I'm as, mad. It's not as good as you want. Dude, guess what? Oh, fucking what, angry. Guess what you can do that I can't do? Snatch your fucking chain. <laughs> you can you can get a text from a boy, and he's like, hey, we're... You could get a text from a boy, and he's like, hey, we're, we're ganging up. We're, we're ganging up down in Highland right now. Pull up. And you can just get go up. Go do that. Yeah, I you can just, just go get up that. and leave right then and there. I have to go... Hey, who's watching the baby? Yeah, I have to like make plans. Yeah, and plans. Then, when there's someone who <laughs> when there's someone who lives in your house, you gotta you gotta you gotta appreciate the 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 novelty of the boners in life. Yeah, why don't you just stop and hey, every once in a while, why don't you just stop and smell the erections? Yeah, stop. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I will. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna appreciate. You my ever jerk off erections. and smell your hand after? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I ever have jerked off and not. <laughs> not like the cum hand, but like just like the hand that you've been g- gripping with the whole time. <laughs> what do you mean the cum hand? <laughs> well, because well, I don't suffer from this anymore, but you know, like sometimes you, back in the day you'd cum in your hand. <laughs> no, no. I still cum. I still do that, but, <laughs> but it's not in your hand. <laughs> it's not in my hand. I've got never a, had to come in your own hand. I gather a disposal. <laughs> Have you ever come in someone else's hand? <laughs> Not in their hand. <laughs> God, if, if, someone, if, if you're like, oh, I'm about to come, and she's like, give it to me. Yeah, <laughs> you're the body of Christ. Right. The body of Christ. Oh, that, I, you know what? <laughs> I often like think like, oh, gosh, I miss, I miss being able to shoot rope. That would be so fucking funny to shoot along just as someone holding their hand out. Give it to me. Can I have it, please? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, make a little shot cup in my palm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the... <laughs> no, thank you. Fill right. my cracks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a palm reading. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and then she, and then she <laughs> slaps her hand on the wall, and you can tell your future. Yeah, I gave away a little information there of me saying I used to come into my hands. Hey man, no sweat. I'd clean it. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. I mean, I've came on the tummy a couple times. Would you rub it in? No, <laughs> no. I mean, well, I, I would. Knew a guy. I had a buddy. I would. I would. <laughs> you know, you rub it off with your disposal device. You I know, whatever t-shirt's closest to the bed, and. But that is there is some rubbing in happening. Yeah, I had a I had a buddy who nonchalantly once told me after like he'll like he'll bust his nut and it'll be on his stomach and he just like totally commonplace like it's not weird at all with just like just rub it in just rub it in until it's all dissipated and absorbed. I bet you that dude has no ash on his stomach. <laughs> yeah, I bet he's got the softest baby belly I've ever you've ever seen. Dude, imagine imagine just like some girls, you know, they're they're getting into it. You know, they're get their clothes come off, and she, hey he's, he's laying on the bed. And oh, she, uh, and don't she, get me horny now. And, she, and she just hops over him and lays it right on the belly. Oh yeah, and she gets pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I've been <laughs> if you get if you get pregnant from the dried belly moisturizer. <laughs> I've recently grown fears of getting um sexually transmitted diseases from toilet seats oh yeah like anytime anytime i go to sit down on the toilet and if my my dick like you know the tip of my dick like brushes the the toilet seat i'm like well i just got fucking chlamydia yeah that is that is actually a big uh a big problem a big worry of mine 
where because uh, no one's gonna believe that that's the reason. Yeah, like if you were to get it, no one's gonna believe. Especially like I don't know. I feel like if one of us were to say, "Yeah, I got like gonorrhea or chlamydia from a toilet seat," they'd be like, "Okay, yeah, yeah sure, buddy." Yeah, and that's my, that's my biggest fear is like getting an STD from something non like worthy of getting an STD. You know, if you <laughs> this this isn't good enough of a reason to have this disease. You didn't earn it the right way. Yeah, like if you get if you got a Brazilian prostitute, at least you got a Brazilian prostitute, you know? But at but, the end of the day, but like if I got herpes from a toilet seat, lame. <laughs> And I have to come home and ex- try and explain that to my girlfriend. <laughs> it's like, what, you didn't even have daughter. fun? <laughs> I don't know why I have to explain it to my one-year-old daughter. You'd have but... to explain it to your one-year-old daughter, and you'd have to do it with, like, pictures and <laughs> colors. <laughs> Daddy has this forever. Do you know how long forever is? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say herpes? <laughs> one red dot, two red dots. Yeah, that would be tough though, because like there is no don't scratch. But it is fun, like when like you you have a girlfriend and she gets razor burn, and you're like, "Bitch, you cheating on me, man!" <laughs> and you can just yeah, it is fun when you have a girlfriend. <laughs> no, no, having a girlfriend is not fun. Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> I'm going through a lot. Yeah, I dude, I can, I love my girlfriend, but it doesn't mean it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you have a child with her. <laughs> the child is fun. She's always doing funny shit. Yeah, for real. The other day I did her I took her hair and I and I like, you know, made it look like yours. I made it look like um like a like she like was like a business person. She like slicked it back. Yeah, like That's I like, funny. I like gave her a split and like I was like this girl could do my taxes. Honestly, I, I I can't lie. I find it very enjoyable if I'm ever at like like a Walmart or a Target or whatever and I like happen to be in like the clothing section. Have you ever seen like a baby suit? Oh like my a suit gosh. for babies, like a suit for like a one two year old. That is no, I haven't. I need one. Hilarious! I love them. They're so funny to me. This little God, tiny suit, and then I imagine so a little. I imagine a little baby is like a little business baby, like boss baby, oh, boss, boss baby. baby. <laughs> Dude, my I, my baby is funny as shit. She likes to like if I throw something in the trash can, like mm-hmm. I throw, say I change her diaper, I take the, pick the diaper up and throw it away. I got to keep an eye on her cuz she'll like if my phone's on the ground, she'll like, grab my phone, just toss it in right <laughs> after the diaper. <laughs> she's a little prankster. She's she, she's got tricks. Tricks. She's mad funny. She um she's we were giving her goldfish the other day and she's got this little snack jar that's got like a lid on it but you can stick your hand in yeah it's like, like the little like, rubber thing yeah and so she's pulling them out she's eating them she gets tired of eating them and she goes you know what i wonder what i can do with these goldfish she drops one on the ground she just looks at it looks at it and stomps she stomps <laughs> shatters it and then she just smiles and laughs is like this is the coolest shit I she she literally ever done. in that moment she discovered what it meant to take a life <laughs> she, <laughs> she was playing god and decided that this creation of mine must be destroyed yeah maybe she's a boy that's a beautiful thing to learn at the maybe. age of 1 years old yeah, maybe she's really you a have boy. power cuz you know young your boys be, human young boys be murdering we be killing that pussy yeah! No, uh, dude, but young boys really do like be like out there just popping frogs. I never popped a frog. <laughs> yeah, you might not have. I was a gentle boy. I was a gentle young kind soul. I've never harmed an animal in my life. Really? Being 100% <laughs> I've never harmed an animal. I've heard stories like this. I don't like I'm not judging you for it, but I never had that experience as a boy. When did you I, lose that testicle? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need two testicles to hurt frogs. <sighs> when you pop a ball, you don't want to. You don't want to pop, pop a frog. A, you don't want to <laughs> pop a ball. You're gonna pop a bullfrog. Yeah. If you if, if you have both balls, bullfrogs are gonna die. <sighs> I didn't. I never popped a frog. I did. I did. By yep. popping frogs, you mean just like fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ? <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't pop any frogs. I just shot shit with my BB gun. Yeah, I, I guess you know that's like a classic boy thing. There's yeah. no judgment on that. Yeah. I just never found. I got a couple frogs enjoyment with the from hurting. I would catch creatures. turtles and just put them in. Uh, we had this like sand pit. What's it called? Sandbox. Yeah, sandbox. And I'd literally just go get five gallon buckets of pond water, freaking dump it in the sandbox, put the turtle in there, and then overnight I'd be like, dude, how the fuck did the turtle get out? <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn, that turtle had to go on a fucking like homeward bound journey to get was, fucking the home. The pond was like catty corner from my yard. Yeah, it but it's far. a fucking turtle, dude. That's going to take him a week. Turtles know where the water is. That's a beautiful saying. Turtles know where the water is. <laughs> dude, but I, I got a I got a, a five-gallon bucket, right? And I threw a snake in there once, a garter snake. And what did you do to the snake? And I was like, well, you know what would be cool? Snakes fighting spiders. So I got all the spiders I could catch, throw them in there, and apparently the snake just lives on the bottom of the five-gallon bucket, and the spiders build a web on the top. And it's I don't not think snakes a, give a fuck about a spider. It wasn't as much of a fight as I expect. It no, was they only co-inhabit like their like friends. Oh, no, snake. they're forming an army against me. They've, they've, God, they've I built remember, a regime. I remember how mad my mom was when I had that bucket, that snake that in a bucket, bucket in my bedroom. <laughs> in your bed. Yeah, she just came home, and I, I'm messing with a snake in my bedroom. <laughs> Ayo, and we ain't talking masturbating. <laughs> and that wasn't the first or last time. Oh, uh, Duke, before we start this, could I take a little potty break? Yeah, we'll do a, yeah. we'll do a uh, potty pause. I'll potty stay, pause. I'll stay right here. So, uh, so um, potty pause. Um, during the potty pause, let me tell you guys my proposal on how we're going to save the world. I think there's only one way to save the world, and that's to bring back the guillotine. Yeah, the guillotine. And no, we're not going to be beheading the peasants. I'm a peasant. You're a peasant. We're all fucking peasants. We can't be beheaded. That's not fair. <laughs> See, what we got to do is we got to bring back the guillotine, what it was best at, beheading the kings and the conquerors. But I live in America. Who are these kings and conquerors you speak of? See, I think the only way to fix politics is that at the end of your term— if you're a senator, a president, a governor, whatever, everyone who's in your district, all the people, all your constituents, the people you're representing, when you they the people that voted you in at the end, they get another vote, and they get to vote if you keep your head or not. That way, if you want to do politics or whatever and make laws, you better make good ones because if you don't, you know, you're you're not gonna live to see the the outcome i think it's only fair to to uh put a little bit of risk in politics you know yeah sure you get some hate on twitter but has hate on twitter ever killed a politician no i don't think so i mean it might hate on twitter might have taken a couple people out but i'm not no one no one crazy like a politician or anything so we gotta behead more politicians and i'm not calling for this it's just a suggestion you know, I don't know how we could get this law passed with the politicians doing the politicianing, but like I'm telling you, this would fix all of everything if you just cut a couple heads off. Aww. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, I did talk about guillotines while you were gone. Is it, is it guillotine or is it guillotine? I don't, I don't think it matters once your head's gone. <laughs> In the long run, well, who gives a fuck? <laughs> it, does, it does its point. It does its service. <laughs> All right, let's let's get let's reach our hands into this uh, big black <sighs> container here. Into this BBC and kind of a dune a situation. Yeah, we'll pull out a word here. I'll All take right. this one. All right, I got Nelson Mandela. What do you got? I got JFK. Oh, who? Okay, so how this works is you've seen argument podcasts, but they always argue the same old arguments that you've heard before. New York pizza, Chicago pizza. But now we got Nelson Mandela versus JFK. Now, we're going to – maybe the, these arguments aren't always uh, so straightforward, you know? So, like, it's not necessarily like, oh, Nelson Mandela's better. Like, yeah, I was you just got to like, be like – Is this who's better or yeah, who like, do we fuck with more? Yeah, like, no, you just got to say good – like, where JFK beats Nelson Mandela, what's good about JFK, what's bad about Nelson Mandela. Okay. And I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to do the other side. I'm, I'm the Nelson Mandela side. And is there an effect named after JFK? I think not. Oh, is that where we're starting, huh? Yeah, that's where we're starting. All right, well, to counter my counterpoint to you just bringing up the Mandela effect is the fact that that's my daughter. She's banging on the door. It's okay. She'd be banging loud as fuck. Yeah, she wants. She's like here. it's like Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sh- is the fact that he has this effect is based on people didn't know if he was in jail or not. 
Like mm-hmm. people thought he died in jail, but yeah. he was actually still been alive. That's why it's termed that. Mm-hmm. If you're so forgettable that people can't even realize if you're in jail or not, are you really that important of a person? Yeah, but guess what? You can assassinate JFK. You can't assassinate Nelson Mandela. But you had to assassinate JFK because he was so cool and badass and had W. Riz so much that the U.S. government was like, this guy is too based. They said, JFK, you are way too based. You're saying the you're government getting- did it? Yes, of course they did. Lee Harvey Oswald was trained Acted by the alone. U.S. government in order to assassinate the United States president. Yeah, don't I believe will, that. Th- today, <laughs> today is the 31st of January. I am in Akron, Ohio, and if you do not see me in the next week, it is because the government has assassinated me for speaking the truth. Yeah, no, they're not watching. They haven't they haven't tuned into the podcast yet. If we had a couple government people give us a couple views though, I wouldn't mind and maybe I'd start talking more about uprisings and such. JFK's way cooler than Nelson Mandela. JFK got so much more pussy. JFK had cool hair. How do you know how much pussy Nelson Mandela got? Nelson Mandela Nelson Mandela never got real pussy. You wouldn't know you wouldn't know if he did or didn't. It'd be a Mandela effect. I mean, that's, that's not that's how that's, that's not that's how you use that. That's dude, not that's, how you use that's that. That's so crazy. That's so crazy to slam someone so hard they don't know if they did or didn't have sex with you. That's the Mandela effect right there. <laughs> Story of my life, brother. <laughs> that's yeah, the shit, real dude. Mandela effect. I got that Mandela deck. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so good it's forgettable. People I feel like you could go up to the <laughs> So good they'll change my name when they tell you about it. Okay, I really liked that. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> what? JFK is way better than Nelson Mandela. He got more pussy. He was way cooler. He was so cool that they had to assassinate him because he was just going to get way too much pussy and make the world such a cool place to where everyone gets to Yeah, fuck. but he didn't stop any slavery. Okay, and he made sure that the people weren't going to get slaved again. Maybe. I think his slaves were, I think that was like 100 years before him. If Nelson Mandela is so cool, then why did nobody try to kill him? <laughs> people tried to kill him. That's the whole thing. I think that people That's thought, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, I don't know, man. That's a, that is a tough one. I think we leave that one up to the comment section. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like a real standstill. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go first this time? Yeah, well, go ahead. Pull another term out the bucket, and you fire us off with why your thing's good. Okay. Or my thing's bad, one of the two. What do I got? Oh, God. I got Andrew Jackson, the 10th president of the United States of America. So why are there so many fucking presidents in here? Because I like presidents. I, I got fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> fidget spinner versus Andrew Jackson. Okay, um, I'm going to go off. Andrew Jackson would not put up with fidget spinners. I'm going to go off and start off by saying that fidget spinners were a necessity uh, during the 2017 to 2020 era uh, because the world saw a huge increase in autistic people. And if you um, if you're gonna have that many holy shit, is big fidget spinner behind autism? Big fidget spinner is a huge contributor to autism. Absolutely, absolutely. I fidget didn't. toys were only invented for um, it was a it was a need. It wasn't a want. It was a need. We needed things to fondle in our hands, or else North Korea was gonna come and take us. Yeah, well, fidget spinners are cool and all, but Andrew Jackson conquered Florida, and he didn't even have to. He just did it because. Yeah, and when you buy a fidget spinner, it's not for any other reason other than you did it because. Yeah, well, Andrew Jackson didn't have a fidget spinner. He just had seminal Indian heads. Yeah, and I bet that if he w- could find a way to turn... I'm sure he <laughs> had one of those Indian heads and he would fiddle and fondle with <laughs> it. <laughs> Pull a tooth out, put it back in. If any seminal Indians are watching <clears throat> this, I am so sorry for what happened to your people. Andrew Jackson did his thing and I, I i wasn't there to stop him if Bless. i was there i would have given him a fidget spinner yeah it, hey see this is what i'm saying if you would have gave him a fidget spinner he would not have felt the need to kill all those Th- people yeah that is true because <coughs> the one thing i know about andrew jackson is that one he, he was died, autistic as hell he died in a duel which, which is badass badass as hell i think we should bring back dueling i'm very pro dueling he is he was talking to me about this like off camera yeah, like, this is like a legitimate thought he has i'm pro dueling i just think it would we would People would argue less if there was sword play involved, but um, that's off topic here. Yeah, yeah that's off topic. Get but back Andrew, to Andrew ja- Jackson. Yeah, Andrew Jackson was told, "Hey, man, don't go conquer Florida," you know, and he was like, "Fuck you guys, I want Florida." This was before he was president. 
And um, so he goes and marches his troops through Florida and conquers Florida. But before he starts conquering Florida, we bought Florida from France or from Spain. Mm -hmm. And so we bought it. He was conquering stuff that you already had. That we already bought. Of. Yeah, and he just went through and just killed everyone there and and started anew. He was <laughs> And I go back to my finer if, point yeah. of if he had a fidget spinner. He would have had some more patience. He would have way more patience. He wouldn't have been so ADHD'd out of his head, not being able to focus and like, ah, oh, I can't wait that long for this deal to go through. I guess mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and take it myself. Yeah. But I if he had so, like tw 20 minutes with a fucking fidget toy. Dude, I can't wait for this so boat to get to Spain with my letter. Uh, I must go kill all the Native Americans. That's what he thought. That's exactly. <laughs> that's Andrew. We were living inside of Andrew Jackson's head, folks. That's who we're talking Simpler about. Simpler times. <laughs> Fidget spinners. You know, if you think about them at their core level, if you really break down what it well, is, that's just the ball bearing is the core. Exactly. <laughs> no, but that's 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 what I'm that's what I'm getting to here, Duke. Is that at the at the core of it, it's a ball bearing, <laughs> and a ball bearing is a representation of science itself. Mm. An object in motion must stay in motion. Is that what you say when a girl holds your balls? She's ball bearing. <laughs> I'm both impressed <laughs> and insulted. <laughs> impressed. He has one ball, guys. If in, case, in case you didn't talk, listen to the last podcast. And insulted. We covered it last time. Anyone watching this probably knows who I am because they know me in real life. Because I'm going to post this, and they're going to be like, "Oh, that fucking idiot's on." This is probably terrible. Let me cringe at this. Yeah. Uh, well, if you want to cringe some more, watch the other episodes. It's worse, way worse, probably. Yeah. Without Austin, it's pretty much not a podcast. I think I bring a real true silly talkative element. Yeah. It's <coughs> see the the problem with my other podcast is there's either there's there's usually four balls or two balls involved and three is the too perfect number. Many. Three It's an odd number, but it's the evenest if you think about it. Well, three, six, or nine balls. And so to six, I don't need you. I could have two other guys. Mm -hmm. Or I could have or I could have another guy, you and another guy with one ball. Hey, good luck. And good luck finding him. If I found another guy that had another ball, I'd do the Dragon Ball Z fusion dance and see if <laughs> see if it all comes together. Dude, wouldn't it be fun to like get two guys with one ball in a room and just be like, "All right, guys, figure put out a fucking sword in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> lock the door, see what happens, <laughs> see who walks out of there busting big loads <sighs> in my hand." <laughs> What if it, what if balls were like the infinity stones and you could just really gather them up and the more balls up. you had the the harder <laughs> nut you would shoot <laughs> yeah, and the more yeah. like and you could control the universe more it'd just be like thicker and stronger and <laughs> shoot harder yeah and like every time you take a ball it's like you know it's like taking it from vision out of its head and they just kind of crumble <laughs> away <laughs> yeah and they then like fizzle up like raisins yeah and then, <laughs> and then you don't even have to you don't even have to like put it in. You just get it close, and then it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's the future I want. Damn, that's like really beneficial for me. <laughs> I yeah. would like that a lot. Yeah, don't start this with me in the room with you. I want to keep mine. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't like, like this one. I didn't <laughs> like Andrew Jackson versus Fidget Spinner. I feel like a guy with one ball. In this world, yeah, is a very dangerous man. That's true, man. I really am. I'm a dangerous boy. I'm a dangerous individual, brother. You can't stop me. You can't lock me in. You can't trick me into a pregnancy. Cause, cause you really could give me. You can give me. You could give me an STD. That's fine. I can get. I could get help for that, or just lie. That's fine. But you can't. You can't trap me with no kid. You can't box me in with no child because nothing comes out of my dick. I don't squirt nothing, dude. Nothing if anyone squirt out of my nothing, go on, on with me. Nope. If anyone trapped you with a kid, that would take having some good insiders down at the sperm bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got someone on the payroll. I had a month-long plan for this. <laughs> Dude, never date a mob, bitch. Damn right. Oh, what else? Oh, this is off topic, but talking okay. about cum made me remember this. Uh, at my work... We have um, soap dispensers in the bathrooms, obviously. Very, but very come in your hands, ask. That's what I, So, 
literally it, it's like one of those squirt bottles that like used to, it used to be the foam like you press mm-hmm. it like the foam came out but um uh, my boss like refills it with like other soap mm-hmm. but the container isn't meant for the style of soap so whenever you press down on it it makes an audible <laughs> sound <laughs> and it's and it's like that kind of soap that's like all white and it looks kind of like cum and i'm every time i go to wash my hands i'm like i really don't like using this soap dispenser because it feels like it's coming in my hand every time Dude, i go to wash my hands we could probably do a whole only fans and like just do soap shots soap shots <laughs> just soap so get it get someone get get that soap dispenser pop it off the wall and you get girls and guys gals and gals and guys and non-binaries and a whole lot of them anyone who is is cool with soap on their face <laughs> if you get my drift yeah and we just literally we we have we have like the shadow of a dildo like so we like shoot it with the shadow of a giant dildo but really it's just soap dispenser you remember those porns that were pretty popular, like um, like a few years ago? OG Mudbone. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> fake dick that <laughs> yes. would just shoot out gallons and gallons of fake cum. Yeah, I used to watch OG Mudbone on the family iPad. You're a stronger man than I. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my buddy came over one day. I was like, "Dude, you gotta see this." <laughs> Was, same thing happened to me, but it was in school, <laughs> in the middle of class. I got showed that. It was right after school one day. He's like, dude, do you guys have that family iPad? <laughs> dude, I got to show you this. <laughs> That's so true. Dude, uh, I remember someone. Uh, Everyone saw OG Mudbone by a friend showing them. No one just There had to be that. one friend who found it. There's one friend. There's who one guy. It You're right. There's just we, one guy. Oh, my gosh. We have to do that Family Guy episode where we go find the person who showed us OG Mudbone and Follow, follow the trail back to OG Mudbone himself. himself. <laughs> and then I ask him to pull it out. And then he comes all over and <laughs> pops it on me. And Oopsie. Then you, and then you steal his ball. <laughs> it's probably fake. I don't Pop. Dude, if I had one of those bitches. <laughs> dude, if you had one of OG Mudbone's balls. I'm back in action, baby. I'm ripping. Oh, my gosh, dude. You're not only shooting, shooting splits, dude. You could glaze a dozen donuts. I could fucking shoot a goddamn hole in the wall. Gosh, that makes me concerned. Like, I would never want to piss off the local donut shop employee. He could, he could, he could, he could do me so. You'd dirty. have to work for it. <laughs> it. Wouldn't be very instantaneous. You ever seen a donut hole before? Oh, donut hole. Do you look at those things. You, you ever see a glazed donut coming off? the Oh, rack? I've seen a glazed hole in my life. Trust <laughs> Ooh. me. Ooh, dude, dude. When I see those those glazed rounded. Golden. All right. How donuts. about we? How about we pick another topic? I don't coming, <laughs> coming right off that belt and getting covered in that glaze. I'm getting a little too horny for my Ooh. my taste. Just a little tiny it's like my bit too horny. Doing the dishes and I'm bricked up. Bricked up. Bricked up. I like that. That should be your catchphrase. Bricked up. That's yeah. I'm gonna go at the at the at the show tonight. I'm just gonna tell my jokes and I'm just gonna go. I'm bricked up and then tell my yeah. next joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no explanation. Yeah, no. Make it like your catchphrase. <laughs> I uh I like it because to me it also kind of sounds like a like a cool guy from California saying like Brita like a Brita fil- filter mm. <laughs> like would you like some water from my Brita from my Brita on the lay on the I like how you went cool guy from California instantly to Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. That's what I meant about a cool guy from California. Just some Spanish guy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There is no cool whites in California. If they are, they're lying. All the cool whites are in Austin, Texas. Didn't you know? All the cool whites are in me, Austin. Oh. Hey oh. <laughs> okay. Third. Well, yeah, let's do one. Third more. and we final. Got, third got, and final. Yeah, we got a couple we got a couple more uh minutes here. All right, I got Oppenheimer. Oh my god. I got Literally better. I'm gonna blow you the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, we did that one on Oh we did that one recently. I it accidentally okay. a couple of them accidentally got put back in. Oh my God! What'd you get? Martin Luther King versus Oppenheimer, the a man of peace and a man of millions of deaths. <laughs> I like I like seeing this like right over my head. Martin Luther King Jr. Baby, okay. if it would just go into focus. Yeah. All right. Uh, you start off. Um. Hmm. It's very hard because they're very opposite men. Truly. Martin Luther King. Well. Uh, they were both for the blacks. I just I just realized that you're going to have to talk shit in Martin Luther King Jr., but you're going to have to do it in such a nice dance. No, <laughs> no, no, think about it. Think about it. Martin Luther King wanted equal rights for blacks, and Oppenheimer wanted to make more blacks. As in 
burnt s- burnt to crisp <laughs> bodies that are dead on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, that's where you're starting. That's yeah, the, where we're okay. starting the argument. Okay, um I'm gonna go ahead and say that Martin Luther King Jr. uh was a brave and honest and b- great man that that helped us get to where we are today with equality and the advancements of humankind a- as a society and that Oppenheimer had a really good movie come out recently. So to me that's equal playing field. I see these guys I see these guys as as, as peers. Mm-hmm. It's really hard for me to pick one or the other. Yeah, it's fun. To, it's fun to think one guy was like, "I'm trying to b- treat people equally, be nice." You know, I have a dream, and then the other guy was like, "You want me to unleash a nightmare?" I have a nightmare. <laughs> Do <laughs> you want to see it? Wouldn't it be funny if if Oppenheimer's speech was, "I've got a nightmare"? Yeah, no, uh, that's a God. Oppenheimer should have been Batman. That's interesting. I'm thinking about that now. That's very interesting. Just the idea of how it really was. Martin Luther King had a dream about freedom, and Oppenheimer had a nightmare to unleash on the world known as the hydrogen bomb. Well, it was also about freedom. It was about freedom for some people. Well, it's America. We are the freedom. No one else. What do you mean? other Other people get freedom? We are the embodiment of freedom. We are freedom here in America, and... We just dropped a little bit of freedom on Japan. That's the way I like to put it. I like to put it as dropping a little bit of freedom, mm-hmm. giving them a little taste of that Martin Luther King special. You, yeah, you know every, what I'm saying? Every, t- every time I, I come in my girlfriend's hands, I'm like, here's some freedom. <laughs> in the hands. In the hands. She's like, give me the freedom. <laughs> May I have the freedom, please? <laughs> I need some freedom sauce. God, I love this oh, country. Some freedom lays. Oh, I love this country. <laughs> God, it's the only country in the world where you can just drop freedom wherever you want. Not technically. <laughs> We're still talking about the same freedom. I don't think you could do that at like a Big Lots. Well, actually, on the contrary, I feel like Big Lots is like one of maybe the one stores you could jerk off and be fine. It depends where you're jerking off in the store. Not only that, but I feel like Big Lots doesn't even get that much business. I don't know why that was the store that popped into my head first. Yeah, I don't even I don't remember the Big last Lots Big Lots public, I saw. I don't. I, I haven't been in a Big Lots long enough to know if they have public restrooms, but there is little masturbation chambers in most stores. Yeah, they're they called little, the changing room. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. There's little masturbation rooms with locks on the doors, and most of the most of the shopping centers I've been to. <laughs> Yeah, again, and I go shopping with my girlfriend, and every time I'm with my girlfriend, I end up bricked up because she like bends over to pick up a skittle or something. A skittle, and then and then I'm bricked up because she picked up a skittle, and we're at Target, and she ate that skittle right off the ground, and now I'm so horny. Yeah, and now 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 my skittles are hard, <laughs> about to shoot the rainbow. If you know what I'm saying. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take that away from you. I wa- I did find that funny, but. <laughs> I don't know. I started to zone out and think about what I have to do after this podcast, and like, I fuck, I'm so fucked. Oh yeah, that is this is fun that you're having me swing you by before the comedy show, so we can put all your possessions. <laughs> we're going oh to, my god, we're going to gather his possessions from the curbside of his ex's. Place. It's not going to be on the curbside. <laughs> I hope uh, after I send her these podcast clips. Yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> Yeah, we got to go after we I went from doing this, having a silly goofy time to having a very somber and sad moment of picking up my possessions from an ex significant other to then immediately going to a comedy <laughs> show and being a funny little boy. So you have to you have to um you have to gather them as well, right? No, um she she's very nice. Oh, this she, is she put them together? Yeah, she put it all together Do for me. Do you think me. you At got a plastic so. tote or a plastic bags? Oh. I'd, pr- I'd assume a trash bag. Trash bag trash bag is, is not bad. It's better than... The it's lawn. honestly just going to be clothes, one comic book, a charger, and a small TV. And then your other ball. And my ball that I had left because I was letting her hold on to that. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. My, uh, I know someone, they, they had their dog fixed, right? Mm-hmm. They got to keep it? They, and they asked to keep the balls in a jar. And they let them do and it? The, yeah, the doctor was like, yeah, it's no problem. Fucking didn't let me keep mine. They said they had to cut it open for science and catalog it for studies. That's ridiculous. They should at least give you someone else's. They offered me a synthetic. 
to put in a in a like in the sack or like in a jar because I'd rather have it in a jar to be honest with you. A synthetic fake ball just in a jar that I could tell people was mine. Yeah, <laughs> that's so much better than having a, another ball because like now you you have like one big uniball, right? Yeah, like uh, to that's, I that's, I like to that's cool and unique. Yeah, I say this on stage. But uh, just to, like, I think this is the best way of describing it for people at home that want to, like, visualize, like, oh, what does one testicle look like? Imagine, like, a grocery bag and then put, like, one of those big cotton candy grapes in it and then just hold it like this. Nice. That's, at the end part, that's what it looks like. Yeah. what's Like nice a little pendulum. See, what's nice about having one ball is if, if, if sh you have a kind, sweet mistress taking care of you. I did. And she's she's taking care of you greatly. She doesn't have to pick which ball she's going to spend more attention on. No, yeah. I mean, at th in the first place, I didn't like that, to be honest. Oh. I never got my I never got a fancy out of out of ball play with the licking and the slurping and the sucking and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And now even more so sensitive because it's like, this is, the, this is the last one I got. Yeah, yeah. It's double as sensitive. But yeah, like, this is, this is the last one I fucking got. I got to make sure this guy's fine. I got to make sure he's okay. Man. This was this was uh this podcast went very well. It was very fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, there wasn't any really lulls. We just kept no. talking. We kept we, chatting. We just time. we just kept chit chatting. I think I'm really good at that. Yeah, I we think we're it. both really good at that. And we've been friends a, a long time now, a couple years now. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, that so helps greatly. <laughs> talking so to a stranger on one of these fucking sucks. I, I've talked to strangers on them, and I just say ridiculous shit and let them let them let do what them they want. do what they want with that. Here, <laughs> here's some some dumb craziness. Now you just fiddle uh, with this. Welcome into my dueling ball sack brain. Welcome, welcome to my dark, twisted fucking mind. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a freedom bomb on you guys. I'm like, I'm like. Jim Carrey meets the Joker. Yeah, you guys. I'm so twisted. You guys say I'm a shameless disgrace, but I just say I have a personality. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. We end with that. Yeah, I think that's. I think. I think that's a podcast, guys. Um, thank you guys for listening to the Duke It Out podcast. Check out your boy at Austin Robinson over here. Austin Robinson at Austin Rob Comedy at Old Guava uh, Facebook uh, Instagram. If you even give a shit, follow me on. Yeah, it'll be accounts. in the his Instagram will be in the description. Um, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Who won in the in our three debates that we had? We had that eight. two of them completely uncompleted. We really fell off on them quick. Yeah, but that's the fun part about debates is you start debating and then you talk about testicles and bombs. Yeah, and honestly, guys, in the comments, if um if you feel like you know making this. Just I'm 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 not I'm real I'm real down I'm sad I'm sad if you guys could get, do something to help me yeah. whatever and, it is and I had to make a good podcast so I couldn't be nice to him if you could like you know like send me flowers or take me out to like Denny's just like anything I don't know what I'm even saying I I just. I could use some positive reinforcement in my life right now basically so be nice somebody come put that ball in your mouth. Maybe I'll like it now. Who knows? Yeah, he's a new man. I'm the same man, but on new skin. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Duke It Out podcast, the dookiest podcast in town. Tune in next week.